Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad lesson. Today, friends, we're going to play with shape generators. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So I was playing with this trapezoid to help a user out. Let's get in and tinker it, and I'm going to show you how this shape generator project came to be. So if we go all the way down, there is a Your Shapes Generator. When I click on this, I am going to create a brand new one. When I hit New, I'm going to click the button, and I want to build off the extrusion. This was the first one I experimented with. The technique is pretty slick, and I was able to get what I wanted. So first, I'm going to go to Settings. Instead of Extrusion, I'm going to call this Cloud. I'm going to simply name it A Simple Cloud. And I'm going to put version notes. This was created using the extrusion. And now that I've got that, if we go to libraries, it's got a built-in piece that's being used. If we go to scripts, we can hit the main, and that's where we see this stuff. Slash slash means comments. These just tell you these are pieces that may or may not be used. There is the template code where this little shape was awesome because we could adjust it in every direction. It uses the circle, but I don't want to use the circle. I want to make a cloud. So in Inkscape, I designed a cloud SVG, and we're going to add that real quickly under the resources. If we hit choose file and I go to downloads, I can find my cloud three because I've made several of these. Once I click that, I can import it and it'll bring it into the project. Now this just makes it available. I'm going to click down here and do control A and control C. I'm going to delete this other piece and then back to the scripts. This is where it called that SVG that was used before. I'm going to just do control V to paste my cloud in there. Now when I hit save, you will see that this adjusts to the cloud shape after just a few moments. After about two minutes of me babbling while I waited, it finally finished, but we'll skip all that. And there you can see, after several moments, we have got a cute little cloud that you can adjust using the handles. If you had a reason to make it something different, you can. If you want to just use it in your projects, all of a sudden it is available. I love to make projects like I've got a sweet hot air balloon. We used Scribble to draw clouds and they were all right. But now because of this, it is a perfect cloud and it's available to you almost instantly. So friends, I'm gonna go back to settings got my cloud I've got the words a simple cloud I said that it was made with the extrusion and right now I'm gonna publish it so hopefully this shows up for you guys to see I'm not hundred percent sure it'll be out there but if somebody adds in the comments that they can see it that would be wicked cool I do also want to stress friends this was just trial and error I know what an SVG is I replaced it I experimented I wanted these handles because I was thinking the extrusion only has four handles sometimes it's cooler to have more than that so this just opens up the opportunity for us to start creating stuff even if we just have basic skills friends if you do have coding skills maybe you can push this to epic new limits I just figured I'd show you how to get into it Real quickly, I just jumped back into my old hot air balloon project. Let's put the work plane on one of these clouds and let's try out my brand new cloud. Remember, we've got to go down to shapes and we want shape generators. And if we bring out the cloud, let's see how close it is to fitting. And it's a little large, but don't forget, we can just hold down shift and shrink it to the exact size we want. Give it a nice puffy white cloud. Work plane back down on the ground. And that, my friends, is pretty darn fun. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.